So let us come together in our circle. And you feel how that connection is made instantly. As we relax down into our bodies and just move more deeply within, coming into that place of beingness. And we come to a place of rest, a place of non-doing, simply centred within and very much aware of our heart space. And we take a few minutes while the Arcturians Cleanse our aura. Bringing us into balance within. Where they are able to raise our frequency. So you simply surrender to the flow. And allow the divine to work through you. And take your focus now to your soul star chakra above your head. You may sense it, feel it or visualize it. So your higher self, your soul is here. And let us affirm I am my higher self. I am my higher consciousness. And I invite my higher self to descend into my physical presence, my human consciousness. And you feel the pressure of that extra higher light able now to enter into the physical body as the physical body is learning, evolving into accepting higher light. It is the light of your divine self, your true essence, your I am. So from above your head, from your soul star chakra, the light of your consciousness, of your soul, moves down through your central column to your soul star chakra below your feet.
and you anchor it into Gaia's heart and core. To allow the heart energy of Gaia to rise upwards from her core into your heart. As you feel her Divine Mother energy enveloping you around your aura. As she comes into oneness with your heart and with the heart of our circle. And we have all risen into higher consciousness together. And we also raise our focus above our head to our higher mind or at the top of our head as our higher mind connects around our circle. So we move our focus now to Shaftesbury. Don't worry if you don't know where it is, for your higher self knows. And you may become aware through your heart, of the heart energy that is there. So there's a big stretch of crystal, a crystalline energy field. which has within it the love energy of the purity of Christ consciousness. So allow that connection and that energy to build. For a corridor has been opened there as the darker energies have been cleared and from the higher realms the Christ light is able to pour through and throughout the planet. So allow this to take place 
as it becomes amplified with our participation. Our core group is very important for them to be able to work with. and huge amounts of divine love are now able to pour in. So you work without effort from your heart space and higher mind connected to Gaia's heart and core. and become sensitive to the purity of the Christ energy which is here in that crystalline energy field. So it's able to continue to anchor and expand So allow your bodies to remain relaxed with more higher light and love can flow through here, increasing the love quotient upon and within the planet and humanity. So we simply let it build. So let us see now. Glastonbury Abbey. Just picture it in your vision, however you wish. If you don't know how it looks. And we ask the Arcturians, please, to place their starship Athena above it. and see that a line of light from Shaftesbury is travelling to Glastonbury Abbey. And just relax and allow the higher light to flow through you. So we ask for preparatory work to allow this power spot to be cleared of all darkness and for the Christ light to be able to enter and move through the planet. We ask for your presence above and we ask for your presence upon the ground. And we understand that many Ascended Masters 
angels and archangels will also be participating and we also call to all star systems, star beings to bring your starships and assist. just move into the energies there, connect to them and tune in. Bring in your love, working from a place of love. So you may notice that the energy at Glastonbury is much more dense than the lightness of the energy at Shaftesbury. So we bring love and light, anchoring it there to begin to lighten the energies. we ask the Arcturians to place a line of Arcturian blue light and golden light around the aura of this site. to bring the violet flame a sacred place upon this planet, visited of course by Jesus, by Mary, Joseph of Arimathea and the Essenes. So we also invite the presence of Jesus and Mary. Joseph and the Essenes. And you may even feel or remember that perhaps you were an Essene. And allow their energies, both there and within you, to lift you into bliss, 
divine love and joy as we work with the lightness of energy. We simply allow the light to build as it does its work. the blue and golden light around the aura offers protection from the nearby and surrounding darker energies of Glastonbury. And the violet fire has begun its work. Jesus and Mary, Joseph and the Essenes have come. as we begin to activate what was laid down 2,000 years ago for the time that we are in now. And the energies are actually working very much in the ancient woodland of Krukan also. And we did previously clear some great darkness from there, which opened up the line to Glastonbury.
there is much Christ consciousness energy available now in these areas that we are working with. So feel the beauty, the love and the bliss within yourselves which you are bringing into the planet. So these energies have been anchored sufficiently to be able to continue their work towards 1010 and already there is a powerful triangle of Christed light flowing through the grids between Shaftesbury, Krukan, Glastonbury. So you can draw your energy back now into your physical presence and simply as always remain within the divine flow as the energies flow through you from above and you allow them to flow into Gaia's core and whenever you feel ready simply open your eyes and be in bliss, in love and in joy. Feel the lightness within. So everyone, um, when you feel ready, perhaps you might like to comment and share on your experience of that work in the chat. Um, I don't know if there's anything you might like to put into the chat, Eric, from your experience within the Starship.
we'll wait a few minutes while you gather yourselves to share your comments, those of you that would like to. And I will also ask you if you would like to take a 10 minute break as we usually do or if you would simply like to continue without a break. It's quite hard to pull yourself out of that wonderful energy and place to be, but remember, you don't have to leave it behind. You keep it within you. <coughs> and we're learning more and more, our capacity is increasing to hold that place within, to be in that frequency of the fifth dimension. got a couple of yeses. Someone's asking for a break and two people have put in yes. So I'm not sure if you mean yes, can we have a break or yes, we want to carry on. So if you could clarify that for me and if a few more of you could let me know if you'd like to continue or to have a break. person is happy to continue. What about everyone else? Personally, I, I feel inclined to continue, but I know some of you might need to take a break from the intensity of the energies. So 
So the messages I've had are that you're happy to continue. So I think we will continue. So I presume everyone is quite comfortable um, just holding that higher energy without a break for a while longer. I don't want to mention the word too much because we don't want to attract any attention on YouTube but um, I think you all know the one of the first places that we went to was um, the house of a certain person let's say I'm sure you all know what I'm referring to begins with check so we'll probably we're going to work with the energies in Tregoral and we will begin with placing the energies there and we will take them then to other places and also of course you can anchor them and receive them within yourselves. And they will also continue to work within you. So let us all move into meditation again and of course I suspect you all know that that photo on the screen is the valley in Tregora in the Spanish Pyrenees quite close to the French border maybe 30 kilometers or so from the French border.